Weather Authority, meteorologist Ron Rhodes. Temperature high today, mid-50s. Yesterday, we were in the mid-60s. What a beautiful Halloween day it was, but you might have been out trick-or-treating a little later. And boy, I tell you what, once that wind started to pick up and the temperature dropped, it went from, man, a beautiful day to it's getting chilly out there. You probably experienced that when you're out uh, on your trick-or-treating foyer or a foray. As we take a look at what's going on right now on our roof claim camera downtown Owensboro, you can see a bit of a breeze out there, but the wind's not going to be a big factor today or tomorrow, even though we had a pretty good wind yesterday uh, during trick-or-treat time. As Al Ellis Park's camera shows a little bit of color, just a smattering out there as we look toward the twin bridges. And I did see some pretty good pops of color, uh, but obviously nothing widespread out there yet. Uh, we're seeing a lot of traffic though. A lot of it moving into Warwick County right now on 66. There's 69. A little bit of traffic out there. More clouds starting to stack up in the sky. A lot of these are high thin clouds, but it's a high thin overcast for a lot of folks north of the Ohio. And looking out toward the mighty Ohio River. Right now it's 52 degrees with a north wind at 5 miles an hour. And the wind's going to be pretty much from the north 5 to 10 throughout the rest of the day. So pretty much what we have is what we can expect. Uh, nothing too, too fierce about that wind out there. But you know, when you've got temperatures in the 40s, and we're still seeing that out there, you got a bit of a wind, 5, 10 miles an hour, that is going to add a chill. Okay, how low can we go? I don't think we could do a run. We've got 46 degrees in Flora, 47 Mount Vernon, Illinois, 48 degrees Fairfield, 49 Vincennes, maybe we can. 50 in Henderson, 51 in Owensboro, 52 degrees in Dixon, 53 in Calhoun, 54 Beaverdam, 55 in Madisonville. And there you go. Nice little temperature run out there. And obviously the warmer temperatures where we're still seeing more sunshine to the east and to the southeast as the clouds are moving in from the west. Hey, we're going to shout out a few things here, including Halloween costumes for dogs. This is Gumball the dog. And you can see the Gumball machine. And you've got the 25 cents right there decked out. And that's the great thing about dogs. Dogs don't mind wearing costumes. Although we did see a few cats wearing costumes last week. I know this was sent to us by Bailey Hunt. Bailey, thank you so much for that. Well, speaking of hunt, a few folks in Heather Mushrush's uh, neighborhood might be hunting for their pumpkins because there's a squirrel, apparently, Heather says, that keeps depositing uh, pumpkins from neighbors' porches onto this tree, and this tree limb in particular right there. She says that dude is pilfering. He's the, he's the pumpkin pilferer, uh, but that is a pretty cool shot right there, that little pumpkin uh, in Heather's tree. And I guess Heather picks it up, takes it back to the porch, and probably the squirrel steals it again. Live... Get cats. <laughs> cats take care of varmints, or at least keep varmints from running around in your yard. Anyway, live first warning Doppler radar not showing anything out there. And you can see now no rain yet, but we're seeing the clouds start to spill on in on Storm Tracker. A lot of these are higher thin clouds. Rain still holding off. And even at first, we might see some rain on radar. You might see it on your radar app uh, that we have and see, wait a minute, it's not raining here yet. Well, a lot of this might be evaporating, looks like later this afternoon at first. Uh, before that column becomes saturated, we start to see a little bit more rain. But it's not going to be a big deal rain-wise, it doesn't look like. Uh, it is producing a little bit of snow out to the west, and not in the higher elevations. I mean, we're talking about in the Plain States, getting a little rain-snow mix. Wouldn't be surprised if there was a little rain-snow mix over the next few hours up to the north in central parts of Illinois, and even a little bit later on. But for us, it's just going to be a chilly rain that moves on in. And this is pretty much the only thing that's going on across the board. Got a little bit of snow in the upper Great Lakes region, a little bit of rain, and another storm system starting to bear down on the Pacific coast, but it's still a ways off. And you can see a little bit of rain, too, up to the northeast around New England. Future tracker timing it out. More clouds continue to move in during the afternoon. Got a few breaks out there uh, by mid-afternoon, but not too many breaks to be had late afternoon. Here comes a little bit of rain. Latest run on our future tracker does indicate a little bit more rain uh, late afternoon. Kind of picks up the chances just a little bit as we head into evening for all of us. But the best chance, really, before the sun goes down is going to be north of the Ohio. And then we can see these spotty showers out there overnight. Uh, and again, Future Tracker kind of picking up the chances for that rain. But by 5.30, the rain is off the board, so it's in and out pretty quickly. And then we got just a few breaks up to the north at first. So we start the day with cloud cover, but then we're going to see the clouds give way to plenty of sunshine over the course of the morning and then plenty of sunshine throughout the afternoon for our Tuesday. Now, the rainfall amounts earlier were looking pretty small. Mix of sun and clouds by Wednesday, though, and a few more clouds in play. 
But the latest run, I mean, future trackers started to up the ante for that rainfall, but still less than a quarter of an inch, but earlier runs were not quite so bullish on us getting a whole lot of rain. High today, 55 degrees is what I'm calling it on my three degree guarantee. Right now we're at 52, but the clouds are going to keep the temperature from moving up a whole lot more. These higher clouds, uh, sunshine is giving way to those clouds right now. A little bit of light rain possible late in the day, especially to the north of the Ohio, but later on this evening, all of us had that chance with a chilly north northwest wind at around five to 10 miles an hour. On the three degree guarantee, I called for a high on Friday of 62, got up to boom, 65, and that is boom, a winner. Uh, Jeffrey Lieberman of Evansville, congratulations. You've got the Ackerman Chiropractic Umbrella. Just come on by the station and pick that up. Over the next seven days, temperatures are going to be uh, getting a little chillier, especially at night. In fact, this morning's low, around 40 here in Evansville. That is going to be the warmest morning we see all week long, and that's below the average for this time of the year. 55 for high today, 52 tomorrow after a morning low in the 30s, but it looks like for most of us mid to upper 30s. So we don't really see our freeze until a lot of places on Wednesday. I'm calling it 33 on Wednesday morning here in Evansville. A lot of locations below freezing. Then 32, 30, 31. I think Friday mornings could be the coldest morning of the bunch, and a lot of places are going to have their first hard freeze which means we spend more than a few hours below freezing, and boom, uh, that, that's going to put an end to the growing season in a hurry right there. So. Jim Hunter, you need to get in your chair. <laughs> yeah, you just get his chair. <laughs> He's just yeah. meandering around, really, you know. Look at this good fall color in Hawesville. This uh, was I noticed some this weekend, did you? I yeah, did. I noticed it's starting to pop a little bit. This is from Christina Richards in Hawesville, and I don't know if that's around Basswood Park or not, but I know that's pretty close to Hawesville. That is a beautiful it shot beautiful. there. Nice to see those trees starting to turn color. Makes November easier to deal with. True, because we're going to get the color now. Got the color now. Or it used to be when November would begin, the trees were basically shedding all right. the leaves. Right, right. We're just getting them now. <laughs> just get a little late, but better late than never. Well, our, our movie critic is finally in his proper seat. There you and go. We'll, we'll be back to talk to Jim right after this.